men's 3000. Right. Uh, they were going for a world record. And I was like, really? Yeah. Why are we so, doing this? What's going on? There's, yeah, there's world record attempts and there's world record attempts. And especially in the distance side of things, it's so Pretty easy sure to call fine. something. Well, it's, it's true though, point. right? It, it, it gets hyped and then you can stay on pace for one third of the race. And in a distance race, sometimes that's a long time and people can just say world record over and over again. But I mean, Coleman's mark is, is legit. I mean, an hour ago, we paid the price. He went out hard and then faded, uh, got caught by Thierry in Diko Minwayu of Burundi, who ran 7.25. 93 i mean fast time don't get me wrong fast and that's part of the reason why i don't like when there's just so much world record world record world record stuff is because then they run like the number four time in history or something and everyone's like oh disappointment out in monaco and that was a great race and it ended up being a pretty exciting last hundred on the american side of things grant fisher breaks bernard the god's record uh american record and goes 728 48 so fisher's picking up a lot of records over the last nine months or so um i know that's what i'm thinking about you think about the indoor 5k the outdoor 10k now you have this outdoor 3k getting three three records right this year alone three american mm -hmm. records yeah the 10 the five and the three and three okay maybe I... could you say that this nine, is the five, best eight. shape Grant Fisher will ever be in his career this year? Wait, the best shape he'll be in his career this year? No. Do you think do this you year, when, he, when all is said and done, when we look back on his career, however long it is, that the 2022 season where he broke the 5K, 10K, and 3K American records was his optimal peak shape? We lost... We lost Kevin. There you go. No, I'm optimal. Here. Sorry, my kid. My kid walked in the room. Um, no, I think he can get. You don't faster. think so? No, I think because I think it potentially could be his best fitness year. And if that's true, it makes you look at his two finishes in the World 10K and the World 5K as like, man, was this his best shot? Was this the year for him to actually get the medal and is it only going to get harder from here on out? Yeah, but it doesn't really matter. Know. It's like you could be, he could be in a little bit worse shape next year, but the way the last 400 meters breaks differently yeah. and he gets silver or wins a thing. He was in the mix. I think he's in the area now where he's going to, if he stays in that vicinity, he's going to get a medal just based on the fact that it, a lot of that stuff just breaks down to uh, on the day. And if he keeps being in the mix, he's going to get a medal eventually. But there's no reason to believe this year he'd be vastly superior than what he can do next year, the year after. He's still pretty young. Yeah. Would you, if you're Fisher, would you rather have these three records or one bronze medal? Medal. In 2022. Medal. Medal? Yeah. I think I would rather have the three records. Three records. Is the the records, the records is cool, but you can't wear your records. You can wear your medal. Who wears a freaking medal? Come on, no one wears I, a medal. I would. I would have you shown would wear up to your the wild medal. duck. I would have shown up to the wild duck with my medal. With the medal around your neck. Yeah, I mean, I'm not cool, and I don't care. So I would have been like, "This is amazing." They gave me a medal right after I finished. Did you guys see that over at Hayward Field over there? Uh, I got a world championship medal. I don't think you would. I don't think you would walk around with the medal around your neck. No, I 100% would. No, you wouldn't. A world championship medal? You wouldn't medal? need to. People would yes. know who you were without the medal, and people would know that you wouldn't won care. or got top three or whatever. Do you know how cool it must feel to be top three in the world in something? Just anything. And with track, you have a physical marker of acknowledging, like, like the third best guy in accounting in the world doesn't walk around with an accounting medal. They don't, they don't give those out. You Actually, know, even, in, even, even in basketball or football, they don't get, get the third best wide receiver. doesn't get to walk around with a medal track is in a unique place where you get this physical marker 
of where you stand. So I would absolutely put it on display. You said there's not medals for accounting. Um, the other day, ESPN Dundies? two, no ESPN two was live streaming an Excel world championships where they had the Are best people who do Excel V mix lookups, all that like Excel <laughs> competitions. And they were live yeah, streaming yeah, pivot that. Tables. So, Pivot okay. tables, all that good stuff. Filters. So you well, might be able to get a medal, medal in accounting. And they're definitely wearing a medal. They're Cole, would you wear a medal, medal around? Uh, Colt, you're an impartial observer. Would you wear a medal? Uh, I don't I don't know. I'm kind of on Gordon's side for this one, I think. I think I agree with you, Kevin, that yes, you, Kevin, would wear the medal if you got one. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What if you were the third best uh, improv uh, comedian? In, oh, that's in, in Texas. So shameful. So shameful. I would <laughs> definitely not wear that. You wouldn't want like, to. I just associated. don't even think like, like I bet you Michael Phelps only puts on one of his medals when he's asked to do it. I don't think he's ever put he on a million his medal of them. voluntarily. Because he's a million of them. And they're cool. They're used to winning. I'm talking about me. I'm not used to winning. It would be awesome. I've, Grant Fisher, of course, wouldn't do it. The reason why I would take the medal over the, the records right it, it, though is the permanence of it someone could come yeah. along next year like woody kincaid could break some of those records or abdehamid nur could come along and break some of those records and then like do you can you name the top five right now in the men's ten thousand all time like i mean it, it very uh, quickly yeah rup is probably it very quickly not, changes yeah. yeah it's cool for a moment like it's cool for a moment and if you happen to have a record that lasts it's awesome, but there's no guarantee that it's going to last. And then you just became a name on a list, basically. A fast name on a list, but that, that's what you are. 